Am I good? Hmm? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clara Zetkin. It is an honor to be here today. I am going to talk about something very important, women's rights. A life that is not equal is a life that shouldn't be lived. Every woman can do all the things that men can do. I was born July 5th, 1857 in Weidorau, Germany. I am the oldest of three to my mother and father. My mother, Josephine, was a woman's educator and activist and influenced me from a very young age. When I was 15, my family moved to Leipzig where I started attending Schmidt and Otto's Van Stuyber's Institute for Girls. When I was, while I was studying there, I began attending Leipzig Women Educational Society and National Association of German Women's Meetings. I read socialist newspapers and books. This is where I began my basis for a life of a feminist and socialist. In 1878, I became friends with some Russian students who introduced me to the German Social Democratic Party, or the SDP. I met Osip, Zek Osip Zetkin, who became a mentor of mine. He introduced me to new ideas. So I separated from my family and traveled to Russia to learn more about Marxist groups. When I came back, I was eager to join the SDP, but unfortunately, a law stated that women could not join political parties. So I became a very big supporter of the SDP. I, um, one, once the anti-socialist law was, was created later that year, I left Germany and went to Austria to become a tutor. A few years later, I went to Russia and reunited with Ossip. We never got married, but I took his last name and we had two children. Once in Paris, I began to further, further my involvement with feminist and socialist politics. Unfortunately, I contracted tuberculosis and I had to go back to Germany to be nursed by my family. While there, I gave my first speech about women's rights. Once I recovered, I went back to, went back to Paris to care for Ossip, who had contracted spinal tuberculosis. Unfortunately, he died in early 1889. All of my grief went into my work as a political feminist. I worked all during World War I, as a socialist feminist and a part of the socialist movement. I attended and spoke at the Second International Congress in Paris for the working women of Berlin. For the next 30 years of my life, I went back to Germany and worked as a part of the SDP. I wrote a women's journal about women's equality and spreading socialism through Germany for all women. I became the first woman to be in the SDP and later became part of the German Communist Party. For most of my life, I was not allowed to join these political parties not because of the content of my ideas, but only because of my gender. I re represent women everywhere who are not being represented and being criticized for being who they are. It should matter to all that we are not yet equal. Opportunities are being missed and chances are not being taken. All throughout the world, women are not able to speak up for what they believe in. They are unable to take action and pursue their dreams. Women are just as important as men in all ways of life, and that should be clear to everyone. Thank you.